simple seated versus standing combo. This is a winning combination because it creates off balance immediately. It's got action reaction and so many of the different things that we like to see when we're working with us, uh, when we're a seated person working with a standing person, okay? It's nothing new, but what it teaches us is that we can use a pull and a push in conjunction with one another to get a reaction and then to get an outcome that's stronger than either the pull or the push. We get a kind of synergy, okay? And that's this classic um, arm drag to double koji, okay? Made, made famous by Marcelo Garcia, where we're head to head with a partner, they're standing and they're relatively squared up. We begin with a pulling action, okay? And you can use a lot of different pulling actions. You could take a two on uh, one here, you could take an elbow two on one. The grip that we're gonna use is gonna be an arm drag grip. So you're gonna come out, catch this grip where your hand is turned palm down, thumb, here on the outside, okay? Don't forget to use your thumb. It's gonna be important to close the circuit on your partner's wrist. Next, our hand is gonna reach. Don't reach here to your partner's elbow, okay? Reach up here to your partner's tricep so you can get a push and a pull at the same time. Now, if nothing happens here, you're always gonna be able to drag your partner. So you take your leg to the outside. You can either hit a sliding drag where you put your foot on the inside here, or you can block, drag, and pull when your partner passed you, and now you have access to your partner's back. If things fail, you can reach to your partner's legs, all that good stuff. Most people worth their salt know this, okay? So when they feel the arm drag, they're gonna do one of two things. Either they're gonna pull straight back, okay? It's not a bad reaction. Or they're gonna posture up. Both of these reactions work for our double koji, okay? So in this case, where Hugo starts pulling backwards, it's gonna be a little bit of a slower situation where we pull, 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 and we, allow our, uh, we, we let our partner pull us back. We're pulling, it's kind of like a tug of war. Then the last minute we're gonna release, our two feet are gonna go on the inside, and then we're gonna knock our partner's feet outwards. Once that happens, you have to be prepared immediately to come up on top, okay? So as she as Hugo falls here, I wanna rise immediately to gain uh, head height advantage and then we can start our passing. The other possible reaction here is your partner pulls posture straight up like this. Okay, whenever you're arm dragging from seated position, you feel your partner pulling straight up, don't continue to drag. Okay, and once your arms get elongated like this, sometimes you can even have your partner jump right over your guard here as you pull and that's not a good solution, right? not a good outcome. So as soon as we feel him posturing up, we're just gonna release everything and same thing. Legs, you can add double push here above your partner's knees, knock your partner down, all right? As he goes to get up and I go to get up, I wanna make sure that I keep a leg, right? When you take one of your partner's legs up off the floor, getting up is much more difficult. You can do what you like with this leg, okay? If you wanna lift and start to drive the pass, you can. If you wanna sit back and begin to attack the legs, you can do that too. So a couple of details on a classic no-gi combination, a pull and a push, the arm drag, and right into the double koji. Okay, if you enjoyed this, please uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Look down below, we've got some links to some stuff that we've been up to, we'll see you soon.